Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to look at how to assemble the Workstot analog synthesizer. For this process, we're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, four rubber feet, the printed circuit board, the bottom chassis, the top panel, the CV expander, the serial label, a nylon hex nut, a nylon washer, five machine screws, four short sheet metal screws, two longer silver sheet metal screws, and 13 keyboard button caps. To begin, we're going to take the bottom chassis and we're going to install the four rubber feet. To do this, you just line them up with the holes and push them firmly in. You may need to twist a little bit just to get them to sit in the hole well. Once you've done this, you can flip it over and just check to make sure that you've gotten them through the hole. Maybe give them a little tug just to ensure. Next, we want to take the nylon washer and we're going to install it on the audio jack at the top right of the printed circuit board. And then we're going to mount the circuit board into the bottom chassis and you got to make sure to align the audio jack with the hole in the back of the chassis. Once it's in place, we're going to take the silver machine screws and we're going to screw the PCB to the bottom chassis using the five mounting holes on the circuit board. Next, we're going to take the nylon nut and we're going to twist it onto the audio jack. Make sure to not over tighten this. From there, we're going to take the 13 keyboard button caps and install them on the keyboard. Next, we want to plug the workshop in just to ensure that we have power and everything's working. You'll notice that the LFO light will light up red, letting you know that everything's working. From there, we're going to take the top panel and we're going to mount it onto the workshop. We want to make sure that to align it with all the keyboard buttons as well as the headers. And then we're going to take the black sheet metal screws and install two of them on the left side of the workstock. It may require a little bit of extra pressure the first time that you install these. Next, we're going to take the CV expander and we're going to make sure to line up the pins with the holes on the header. And then you're going to take the two longer sheet metal screws and you're going to screw down the CV expander. Once again, these might require a little bit of extra pressure the first time that you install them. From there, we're going to flip the workstot over and we're going to apply the serial label right in the center. Now, we're going to plug the workstot back in, plug in an audio cable, And as you can hear, we now have a working workshop. 